do two cuts a year as and when needed and we take up the arisings the idea being to increase the biodiversity of the riverbank and trying to get that balance between neat and tidy in the middle of a town and good biodiversity value. What we've got here is the first section of the risk assessment and the first sort of distinct section of, of our ownership of Welsh Mill, which is the woodland. And it's managed, let's, let's, let's break it down. As you can see, it's not managed as an urban environment with nice, sweet, clean paths. It's very much a kind of nature in the town perspective. The, uh, the project that we did jointly with Frogs paid for the pump track and to redesign of, of this area and the new uh, play equipment, which is easily spotted because it's all wood. Um, over the last few years, we've resurfaced um, the pump track because it got worn out, which is brilliant. So the, the building behind us is called the Roundhouse. It was done jointly with a, a, a local group called Adventure, uh, Adventure Froom, uh, designed by them and put up and now looked after by the Ranger team. I think we paid a, a, a local artist to, to work with community groups and people just passing by to produce these two murals. <music> Weekly inspections on the play area and the pump track. So that's over all the play areas in the town. It just takes time to sort of do that kind of thing. And, and from the outside, sometimes it feels like this, this to-do list is packing up all the time. But it's that sort of thing that we have to do on a very regular basis, just keeping things ticking over and maintaining them and repairing them, mopping up from vandalism, etc. And repairing from overuse or, or a lot of use, which is a success story, I think, yeah. actually. Yeah.